things ain't in my control One thing I can't control Is I owe it to my soul What's up, everybody? Another day with the J fam. Just got to work, guys. Here get my protein shake. You guys want to know what my protein shake is? I'll do a video on that. I actually have all my supplements in the car right now because it's taking too much space in our, in our stuff in the bags at the house. So I decided I'm just gonna put it in the car. It's easier for me. But anyways, today's Monday, guys. Another week, and I'm excited, guys. I'm excited as heck. Today, this morning, actually, after I worked out, I checked on our YouTube channel, and guess what, guys? 7,000 of you guys, 7,000 subscribers. I'm so thankful. I'm so blessed. Me and Jasmine and Jamie were so blessed to have you guys be a part of our journey. We're just excited to have more of you guys. Next. The next goal is 8,000 subscribers and then eventually 10,000 and then keep going up from there. But thank you guys so much for everything. We have a lot that we want to show you guys. We're actually planning something at the moment, something for you guys. And you guys are going to see see that soon. Today, Jasmine has her, her braces appointment, so she's going to update you guys on that. And then we'll see how it goes. We have a lot in store for you guys. And I actually just bought a tripod. This one I'm gonna tell you, I actually just bought a tripod for for this camera, which is actually just my phone. The quality is um, almost as good as the uh, our vlog camera, G7X. So I decided I'm just gonna get a tripod for it, film my workouts for you guys, and just use it for this phone actually. I'm gonna go to work and you guys will see Jasmine next. Bye. Okay guys, so it's braces update time. That's pretty much the whole vlog, what it's about. Cause I know a lot of you guys keep asking me how I'm doing with my braces, how I'm doing now for my surgery and all that. So I'm gonna let you guys know and after how many months has it been? Oh, Justin's right here. Hi. <laughs> but it's been what, nine months. Yeah, nine months since my surgery and extraction. So if you guys are new to the JFAM, welcome, subscribe if you haven't already. In January, that's when I got my braces. But before putting on my wires, I had my brackets on, just the front ones, in November last year. Dang. Mm -hmm. Just brackets and it was the most uncomfortable feeling and I was kind of insecure because it's just brackets and my teeth were crooked. So when you get your braces for the first time, if you have like lots of crowding, I feel like the brackets, what's the word? Enhancing, enhancing, enhance? Enhances? I can't say it because I have a lisp right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your crowdedness. So for about like two months straight, I had to deal with that. And then January came and I had to get, sorry, Jamie. Jamie's over here eating. So if you hear something, that's the video she's watching. Prior to putting my wires on, like the whole process of getting my braces, I had to get surgery and extractions. So I know if you guys haven't watched that surgery vlog and like my recovery vlogs, I'll leave it up in the i in the i cards up here. Go watch the surgery vlog. I was pretty pretty drugged up, <laughs> and my recovery was intense, but not in a bad way. It's just because I swelled up so much. I do talk about all that. So go watch those videos if you guys are new to the J Fam. If you haven't watched those videos, go watch it. It's interesting. Um, at least for me, it is to go back and watch. But I know on those, I think the surgery vlog, I don't know. I know I said I removed 10 teeth. 
but technically I removed nine and I only say ten because they had to remove a piece of tooth that was up here which I don't think they did I don't know so I don't really consider that a, a like a whole tooth so I'm just saying nine right now so I removed nine teeth before getting my whole like braces wires put on and I did it all on the same day, all at once. They recommended to do it all at once just because they didn't want me to go back to go through another surgery and then recover from that when I could just recover it. Recover from just one whole surgery all in one and then never have to go back and go through that again. I removed four wisdom teeth, so two on the top, two on the bottom. I got four extractions, but Three were the premolars that normally they extract for braces. And then one baby tooth. Yes, I had a baby tooth. <laughs> That's another reason why they had to take out uh, my impacted canine. My canine on my left side didn't want to come out. Um, That's where my baby tooth was. Where that canine was supposed to come out. So yeah, so four wisdom teeth. Four extractions. So three premolars and then one baby tooth. And then my impacted canine up here. So that's the ninth one. And that was surgery. So they had to cut me open from the bottom right here. Oh. And plus the extraction on this side. So all that was stitched up from up here all the way back here. And then I had to wait a week after my surgery. Exactly a week to get all my braces, my wires put on and start the process. And I was kind of nervous to be honest because I was still healing. And I was everything was still open. Like my wounds were still there. So I was like, oh my god, how are, you, how are they going to put wires on and tighten everything up while I'm still recovering, you know? That's why they wanted to check me after a week to see if they can put it on. And luckily, I'm a good healer because my extractions, everything back here was healing perfectly. Everything was clean. I formed blood clots so everything could just close up and heal good. Because if you guys didn't know, if you guys don't build that blood clot, you guys will get a dry socket and those are painful. I don't think I ever went through that, but my brother had, had had went through that, I think once. And he said it's the most painful thing ever. So I was kind of worried for that. But luckily, everything healed how it, how it was supposed to. And they said, wow, like you're healing pretty good. And they said, we could start today. We could start putting everything on today. So I was like, okay, perfect. They put on the wires and everything, and it was the most painful thing at least the first time they put the wires on, the brackets, just because of my surgery and all that. Um, I was already feeling tightness, pressure, and remember that night when I got it? I was in so much pain. So much pain. And I think I had to take ibuprofen, like strong ones. Um, but after that, they say a couple months after, you start getting used to it. The tightening and all that. It only lasts like two days with the pain. You could take Tylenol or something to just get through the day and then you're good. So, nine months later now everything's going good my teeth are pretty much straight already like i'll be good with this if i just had my teeth like this naturally i'll be good i'll be happy with it but it's gonna get even better and more straighter which i can't really imagine because they're pretty straight i'll be so they're really straight which, compared to when she started yeah i've had i'm gonna put pictures in right now so you guys could see like my progress it's so much like you could see the difference like big time i had severe crowding that's why i needed extractions because there wasn't any room to even straighten out my teeth if i didn't get that i mean everything's gonna get better but right now because i'm not a dentist i'm not a you know i don't know how that works but i don't have a canine on this side so i'm like how are they gonna like even everything out make it look perfect but they know what they're doing so i'm just leaving it in their hands but with the whole surgery everything it's pretty much healed I did have swelling back here because um, of the surgery when they removed my canine and that's when I had the, like the biggest lisp. I don't know that I don't know how long that lasted maybe a week or two and the swelling only a week. I did have bad bruising like all the way up here down to my cheek and um, that went away within a week, that's week bad. and a half. I was okay even the day of my surgery I was doing good but it's just a pain. Now everything's healed. I will show you in a minute my wisdom teeth back here. Well the removal and all that everything's Perf perfect, it healed perfect. Um, I kind of feel weird not feeling my wisdom teeth back there because all four were already out and they were growing like outwards and all retarded. So <laughs> it feels weird not having that back there. And then my extractions, my surgery, it feels like nothing ever happened. Like nothing was even in there. Like that doctor did 
an amazing job. Shout out um, <laughs> to that doctor. I healed perfectly. So now I'm going to show you guys my teeth. But everything's going good. My teeth are just super straight that I'm just like, I don't know. Sometimes I don't believe that my teeth are straight. Cause for so many years, I've had crooked teeth. And I would get a lot of stares when I would talk to people. Like, because my teeth were pretty bad, you guys. Pretty bad. And I feel like people didn't know that I knew that I had messed up teeth. Which is kind of sad. But it's like, yeah, I know. But I can't do anything about it at that moment, you know. I'm able to do it now. It's just harder being pregnant and having braces. Because there's only so much pain meds you can take if I was ever in pain which this past appointment I was in bad pain and I just took the safest amount of Tylenol and that didn't really help it was hard so because normally I would take Motrin you know and that you can't take during pregnancy so it's just hard being pregnant and having braces right now my last appointment they did put power chains all over the top and bottom because they realized that my gaps are, aren't fully closed yet so they're trying to focus on that so they said we're gonna put on power chains and we're gonna put in a new wire in the bottom not this was it this one not this month but last month they did switch my top wire to a thicker one and then they kept it for this month and then they changed to a new wire for the bottom this month and then power chains just just to focus on closing my gaps like that's the main focus for this whole month Hopefully they're closed by my next appointment. I'm trying not to talk for a long time because it's already 11 minutes. Okay, that's that's it. If you guys have any other questions, I don't know. It's just hard for me to think about every little thing for braces because right now it's just, this is what's happening. I'm They're closing the gaps. I have power chains. My, last month, I didn't have any power chains on. It was just the, the wire doing its job, but they realized that um, they need to close the gaps even faster and quicker, so power chains does that job. It straightens and moves everything around faster than just the wire itself. So that's what they did this month. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything's straight now. They're just shifting everything around. Trying to put it in place properly. Everything where they're supposed to go. And hopefully I can get my braces off in less than two years. It's almost going to be a year in January. So hopefully by the end of next year. Okay, so here's my teeth. Okay, so here's my teeth. So this is where the impacted canine was up here and then my baby tooth oh well, you could see the gaps are already closing in the bottom right here and then the top one this canine was up here on this side this was pushed back over here and now they're in place so the canine is way back here where it's supposed to be and now they're closing it I did want to mention the I think I mentioned on my recovery vlogs I'm not sure I did have risks during my surgery so that was I think my two bottom wisdom teeth they were crossing a nerve and there was a uh, like not high chance but a chance where I could have gotten a nerve damage which he said my lips could have been numb or tingly for about six months and then the second risk was these two right here that where the canine was like above them right here it was crossing a, a blood vessel so he said that's probably gonna be ripped he said he was gonna try his best not to but it was most likely gonna be ripped and when you're younger your blood vessels will heal back together but because of my age it probably won't so it was like a 50 50 that it would he said if that were the case then you might need a root canal in the future if it, if you have any problems with your teeth if you experience pain um or sensitivity with those two teeth right here so i was like great now i have to deal with that in the future you know but luckily i haven't experienced any pain sensitivity yes i think i would only say because of my braces every time i tighten my braces when things are shifting i get sensitivity but not only those two it's just random teeth but then it goes away so i don't think that has to do with anything um but with pain i don't feel pain with like in those teeth at all and then back here i didn't get any tingly or numbness so that went great everything looks great so far so let's 
Let's cross our fingers that I don't need a root canal later on or I experience pain later on in the future. We'll see, but as of now, everything's good. Those are my teeth, you guys. Everything's healing. Everything's good. I am happy with them. But let me know. I was trying to think of what color to get next. Um, I get scared to get like dark Mommy. colors Mommy. just because it looks like something's in your Mommy. teeth or something. I don't know. But yeah, if you guys have braces, let me know what color you guys recommend next. I love like baby colors, light colors, soft colors. But I've tried, I think, a dark purple. I'm not sure. Was it dark purple? And I didn't like it. I felt like you could see them more and it's like, it looks like too dark in my mouth. Let me know what's your favorite color band that you like to wear. Um, but mine so far is the baby pink. That's about, what I have right um, now. Okay, so yeah, that's my teeth, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this braces update. I will do this again later on in a couple months and then let you guys know um, how it's going then and everything. Unless you guys want me to do this once a month, let me know in the comments below. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys are new, once again, subscribe to the J Fam if you haven't already. And we will see you guys next time yeah he wasn't in it with me right now because it's just a braces update so he doesn't need to be in this so bye but we'll update you guys on more j family stuff <laughs> on the next oh one. wait there's some big 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 news and that's all we're telling you <laughs> goodbye one thing i can't control is i owe it to my soul